Hello students, this is Cynthia Anderson Sanchez and I am your instructor for Human Sexuality Bio 3010. This is a tutorial to show you how to navigate and be successful in this online course. First, you will need to open up your browser. We recommend Chrome. Then you will go to Cal Poly's website at www.cpp.edu. And then go to My CPP. Enter your Bronco name. Once you are here, then you can log in. Once you are logged in, you'll have a bunch of choices up here at the top. You should choose the first choice here, which is our Blackboard. So once you click on that, that will lead you to your Blackboard page. So when you go to my Blackboard, you should see a list of your courses and maybe some additional information. So um, our course, um, I have this set up so that sections four and five are merged together into one course for convenience. Your course is going to look like this here. It'll say 19S, CSCI, Bio 3010, and the 04 and 05 is for the combined section numbers. You should be able to just click on that course and it will open that up for you. Any new announcements will be under getting started. You'll see our syllabus and the course calendar. Our syllabus has a bunch of information the course description, learning objectives, um, our required text. Um, you can use older editions or used editions are just fine. Technical requirements, you'll need to have a computer since this is an online course. And you may want to use speakers or headphones so that you can hear what is being said in the videos. Alternatively, you can use the closed caption feature. You'll want to also make sure you have an internet connection so that you can get into Blackboard and view the videos. You'll also need to have Adobe Flash Player um, activated and updated in your computer. The way that this course works is we will have the following graded assignments. You will be assigned 12 quizzes worth 10 points each for a total of 120 points. You will also have one midterm for 50 points and a final exam for 50 points. In addition, you will have a three to five page paper worth 30 points. This gives us a total of 250 points that you can earn for this course. We use the standard grading scale that is shown here. Late submissions are only accepted if there is a true emergency. If you do have a true emergency, please email me so that I can consider accepting your late work. For your papers, keep in mind academic integrity. You may want to review the academic integrity policy located here at this link. You'll also find information on how to access your Cal Poly Pomona email account, which will be very helpful to stay tuned to announcements and other information pertaining to this course. Also under getting started, you will see the course calendar. The course calendar is conveniently set up so that you can see what is going on week by week. This is week one and we have no assignments due. Next week for week two, you will be assigned a video to watch and a quiz. This is the typical setup of each week as you can see here. When you first open this course, you'll go to the announcements page. Any announcements will be shown here. In order to do your assignments and watch the videos and take the quizzes, you will go to assignments. The assignments are also laid out in a week-by-week -week basis, as shown here. You will simply watch the videos and then take the quiz. Let me show you real quickly how to take your quiz. For example, week three, quiz two is assigned. You will watch the video, and when you feel confident about the material, you can then click on this link here, and this will open up the directions for quiz two. When you are ready, you can click here on this link to open the quiz. You will review the instructions here on this page and then when you are ready, click begin. Once you are done doing your quiz, make sure to save your answers and submit. If you have not submitted the answers correctly, it will give you a warning to let you know. I'm just going to ignore this for now so that I can see that this has been submitted. 
If you have submitted your quizzes correctly, you will get this confirmation. When you click OK, you will see a breakdown of your answers and what you got correct and incorrect. Once you have done this, you should also check My Grades. When you go to My Grades, it should have a rundown of everything that you have submitted and your current grade. If you see any errors, please send me an email to let me know. You may contact me either through Blackboard or by simply sending me an email. To send me an email through Blackboard, simply click on Email and then go to All Instructor Users. In the subject line, please put Bio301, followed by whatever, whatever you wish. Simply put in your message and hit Submit. You can also attach a file through this email, which will be convenient for submitting your essays. You have a link to Blackboard eHelp as well as the IT Service Desk. The IT Service Desk is very helpful and can troubleshoot all sorts of problems that you might experience. In order to reach the Help Desk, you can either submit a Service Desk ticket by clicking on this link or the Help Request form. Or you may go in person to Building 1, Suite 100, or call them on your phone at 909-869-6776. Make sure that you are keeping track of your deadlines so that you are not turning in anything late. And make sure to be confident of your answers before submitting them. Once you submit an answer to any question, you will not be able to go back and change that answer. So take your time and be confident of your answers before hitting submit. To help you do this, the tests are not timed. You may take your time with your tests. You can save your tests and then go back and return at a later time to finish your unanswered questions. Thank you for watching this video tutorial and I hope that you have a very successful semester.